Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you in this video about the Keurig K Duo. So, this K Duo does coffee maker on one side and K cups on the other. I'm going to show you that it, on the Keurig side, on the K cup side, you can use these reusable K cups and they work really well. So, you can get your own coffee grounds and you can make just a single serving with this reusable K cup. So I've got some other videos on this reusable K-Cup. It's from Perfect Pod. This is Amazon's number two best-selling reusable K-Cup. I bought the combo with this special um, serving cup. That it's, You're going to put two tablespoons in this K reusable K-Cup. And then this put this lid on. And then it's just a little easier to get, get the coffee grounds into the K-Cup. So I also did another review on when you use these reusable K-Cups, you don't have to use a paper filter, but I recommend a paper filter because if you don't, you get sediment in your coffee cup. And I've got a video that shows that and explains that. So I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to show you that I use these Perfect Pod single serve paper filters. And so we're going to, these are kind of form fitted. So you're going to put it in the reusable K cup. But you got to kind of push it down a little bit because you need room for the coffee. You can't just set it in there and put the coffee. you got to kind of put it in there and kind of form it. It's okay if it sticks above. When we close that, it can be smashed between the lid and this. We don't want any coffee grounds in this area. Okay, so I think I've got it ready. We're going to get our coffee grounds now. So these K-Cups work just fine with just regular old ground coffee that you use for just a normal coffee maker. So again, we're going to open up this. I'm going to use this. We're just going to get two tablespoons. Now, I, I don't fill mine all the way up. I like to go just a little bit less. It's just a little easier to deal with in this um, reusable K-cup. So right about there. And then you're just going to lift this lid. And then make sure this lid's nice and open. And we're just going to dump it. These are a little bit of work, but it's worth it. I'm just going to dump it in there in one motion. And it's okay if it mounds up a little bit high. Okay. Now, it, it's okay if it's a little mounded like that. We don't want to compact the coffee in there. But we do want to make sure that there's no coffee grounds around this outside lip. It's okay that the paper's there. Okay. So now, when we push this down, we're going to get a nice, tight seal all the way around okay no coffee grounds anywhere and make sure there's no coffee grounds on the outside they'll make their way into your drink now you do get a few coffee grounds up at the top and i just kind of tap those out a little bit okay so now this k-cup is ready to go in this k-duo okay so now we're just going to treat this like a normal k-cup we're going to lift this up the bottom of it's recessed so the needle is not going to puncture this reusable cake up there's kind of a recessed area for it to sit in but it's just going to sit there so make sure it's going to it's going to be flush when you put it in and then we're just going to close the handle don't force it you know it should close just normally and then we're going to come up here and hit the k cup side and i brew mine at eight ounce you can brew these reusable k cups at 10 ounce 12 ounce i think the eight ounce setting tastes really good and then we're going to watch it brew Okay, so it's brewing it through the reusable K-Cup. Okay, it's all done. Okay, so we've I've tasted this coffee. Um, to me, it tastes exactly the same as a Folgers K cup. So you're not going to notice that much difference in the taste. Now, a K cup is usually run about fifty cents, you know, plus or minus about ten cents. I've done the math 
on these reusable K-Cups, you can brew um, coffee for about 25 cents a K-Cup. So you can save yourself 25 cents every time you use a reusable K-Cup. But they are a little more work. But you can see these aren't the most environmentally friendly. you got a bunch of plastic. And I do have another video on how to recycle K-Cups. If you could, please check that out. So again, this tastes really good out of that reusable K-Cup. Mm -hmm. That's a good taste. Of, that's a good tasting cup of coffee. So let's talk cleanup. So I do get I do get a little bit of water on top of this K cup. I get that with other Keurig machines when I use this. So you're just going to take the K cup. So over at your trash can, you're just going to open the lid. These can be a little hot. Now you do have some coffee grounds on the lid. But these filter baskets do pull out relatively easy when they're not super hot. But there's the filter basket with the coffee in it. Now, that makes cleaning this really easy. You just got to kind of wash that out a little bit. But the possibilities are endless with these reusable K-Cups. You can put any, you know, coffee that you normally buy that maybe they don't make a K-Cup for. And you can brew yourself just a single serving. So again, just a quick video. The cleanup is really simple on this. Now it's, I'm ready to reuse it again. And again, I just want to help people with this Keurig K-Duo on the K-Cup side. There's not a lot of information about, um, but the 8 ounce seems to be about right for a coffee. But you could brew, if you want it, you can brew it up to 10 ounces. 12 ounces, it's starting to get pretty weak at 12 ounces. So I hope this video helps that you can use the reusable K-Cup on this K-Duo. And you can put all kinds, like I said, all kinds of different coffees in there. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.